Okay. I'd like to jump on here a few minutes early. Get all set up. Open up the chat. Oh, we got like three minutes. All right, now I like to jump on Facebook and share. Whoops. Share the video. Get this all set up and then we can start the show at 8 o'clock. Ha, here we are. This is weird. See, this is why I like to jump on here. Because every once in a while, a little a couple minutes early. So I always run into some little technical snags. Looks like everything's evening out now. We got two minutes left, about a minute and a half. And we'll share it to the Harrisville Haunted House. Let's see. Roger says good evening. Good evening, Roger. Thanks for joining us. Chiller chat. Too many chillers. I'm going to be probably condensing all these pages I have. And we'll share it to the Chiller Night Facebook group page. Look at that, 7.59. Right on time. Paul says, hi, Brian, new phone, it works. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Craig says hi. Hey, Craig, thanks for joining us. Almost time. Okay. Looks like I'm all set. All right, just in time, too. Here we go. everybody, this is Brian Hogue. Welcome to the Chiller Night Live pre-show where every Saturday night from 8 p.m. Eastern Time into a few minutes shy of 9 p.m. I'm on here and I meet with you fine frightening folks and we go over the Chiller Night television uh, scheduling for tonight that airs on Stream TV and we chat about anything horror or science fiction, paranormal related or Truthfully, just about anything you throw my way. So, <laughs> so welcome and thank you for joining me. Let's see. Glam says, Paul, hi, Brian. So glad it's another chiller night. Yes, Paul says, great show last night. Ah, thank you, Paul. Well, I'll be certainly bringing that up. Uh, Brian says, hi, all. Hey, Brian, thanks for joining us. David says, good evening. Champagne popped and poured. Cheers. Let's see. Lamb says, I was stuck at work, so missed out last night, but plan to watch the recording. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll mention a few little uh, technical stags we had just to kind of prepare you. Uh, there were some audio issues last night. I haven't done a live show in a while. Not, not like this. I'm talking about, you know, obviously like the Friday Night Frights. Uh, so 
but we're gonna we're gonna get all that stuff smoothed out. Uh, Kevin says hello, mate. Hope you and family had a lovely Christmas. Hey, Kevin, thanks for joining us tonight. We did have uh, a very great Christmas, and hope you did too. Thank you. Uh, Glenn says tuning in for the first time from San Antonio, Texas. Ah, thank you. Thanks for joining us, Glenn. I was uh, down that way uh, many years ago. What, 37 years ago, I, I believe, when I was uh, going through basic training at Lackland Air Force Base. Um, yes, yeah, been a while. Thanks for joining us. Michelle says, uh, Michelle doesn't say anything, but she puts a little, um, gosh, I keep forgetting the name of those little, the, the little yellow guys. Um, somebody will, somebody help me here. But uh, thanks for joining us, Michelle. I always forget those. Doc says, nice shirt, Brian. Bucky says, hey, hey, all right. Well, thank you, Doc. I appreciate that. Brad says, it's a chill and I pre-show with Brian Hogue starring Brian Hogue. And now, uh, great show last night. Here's Brian. What's on tonight, Brian? All right. I will tell you. I will I will show you all. It. Uh, well, thank you for the uh, compliment for last night. And uh, John says, greetings. Welcome to Chill and I Pre-Show. This is your unofficial intro announcer, Crozak the Grand, uh, with snowy weather this weekend. And here's the host and star of the show, Brian Ho. Yeah, so I, boy, I really get some deluxe intros there with Brad and, and uh, Crozak the Grand. So thank you guys for... Oh, Brad says Minions. Minions, that's it. That's, that's it. I gotta write that down. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's saying minions, thank you, Jewel and Doc, for helping me out there. Glance has been doing okay. Thanks, Paul. Hope you're well. Okay. Um, Cassandra says hi, everyone. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining in. And uh, I'll put the schedule up, and then we'll we'll talk about last night, and we'll talk about later on tonight. So kind of sandwiched in between here. But tonight, the uh, chiller night theater episode beginning at 9 p.m. Now, this was a request last week from Paul. So, Paul, I hope you you uh, enjoy the movie as well as all of you. Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things. A good movie. Very good movie. I enjoy that one. 11 p.m. Chiller Chat. My guest is Eerie Voices Paranormal Society. And that's part one. That's the one we just, uh, we did that live and we taped that on uh, October 12th. Not too long ago, 11.30 p.m., Chill Night Theater. The movie is Silent Night, Bloody Night. That was another uh, live show that we had. Now, Jack was hosting that one, Chill Night Theater. 1.30 a.m., Chiller Chat. My guest is Michael Smith. And that was taped That was taped almost a year ago. That was another live show. He talks about his movie, House of Empire. 2 a.m., Chill Night Theater. The movie is Bride of the Gorilla. Once again, that was another uh, live tape episode of Chiller Night Theater. Now, obviously, there was a difference, uh, a different host last night. Yes, let me uh, put up the picture here. We had uh, Jack took the night off, and uh, and uh, deservedly so, he took the night off. So I stepped in to to uh, fill in in his absence, and it was a. It was a it was a fun night. Although I do have to, Terrence says, ah, there's a spider in the chat. Hello, Glam. All right, all right. So everybody, Glam says we spiders are everywhere. I don't know. That's a creepy thought, isn't it? But um, last night we had. Oh, Brad says we lost a dear friend of our Chiller Night Theater memory this week. Rest in pl rest in peace. Blue Streak Roller Coaster at Conneaut Lake Park from 1932 until 2022. Really? I mean, I knew, I knew about the Blue Streak Roller Coaster. I'd been on it many times. Uh, I, I didn't know it was uh, 1930, 1932. I would, I'll be honest. I actually thought it was uh, earlier than that. It was so old and decrepit. and uh, But it was kind of neat that it was still there. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, that's gone. Whether it was, I kind of missed the details of whether it was uh, um, 
demolished or you know or if it was a controlled burn um, I didn't really thoroughly read over the article it just kind of brushed over the headline there but uh, yeah that's been a long-standing obviously um, um, roller coaster Connie Lake Park and uh, yeah, we did a we did one of these pre-shows at Connie Lake Park uh, several years ago. We were going through we were going through the um, um, the haunted house that they had set up there, and so yeah, it was, it's been a few years. Glam says creepy but true about the spiders. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Um, Brad says, I hope you saved that Halloween video, Brian. I do. I do have that. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right. So, let's see. We did last night, like I said, last night was The Screaming Skull with guest host Brian Hogue. So, um, I appreciate everybody for, for uh, stopping in and checking it out. Uh, it was a little... I, I'm going to do another one this coming Friday. We'll do, uh, I took requests last night, and which one? The Creeping Terror. I believe I'm, I'm going to check that out just to, just to make sure that it's something that I can play. And uh, that's probably one of, the, one of the viewers last night, Sheila. Uh, I'm not sure who that is, if that was a first and only time uh, viewer. But Sheila, if you're on here tonight, thanks for, oh, she is on here, right? Is she on here? It looks familiar. I'm sure she'd been on here before. But last night, uh, she had requested a movie, The Creeping Terror. So, it sounded good to me. I kind of looked it up in between the movie segment while we were all chatting away during the movie. And, uh, yeah, it looks like one of it. I've never seen it, so I'm kind of curious to watch it. Now, here's where I'd like to get with Chiller Night Theater. Uh, for, you know... Coming up this year, now I've expressed this last week, and I maybe even started uh, uh, dropping hints of this uh, prior to last week, but uh, last week I definitely covered it. Uh, Jack Shadow's not going to be hosting for a while, and it's just because Brian Hogue <laughs> is going to be way too busy to be preparing the shows like you're, you're, you know, we are accustomed to. It just isn't going to happen. And it's nothing bad. In fact, it's all very positive. But I will say, I do not have the time to do that. But I don't want to keep pushing repeats. Okay? I mean, I think that makes sense. So I'd like to have new content. And the only way to do that is if I stand in and fill in for Jack Shadow, who has graciously asked me to uh, step in his place and uh, woefully un unqualified to do so. But, uh, you know, Jack must have seen something in this, you know, this, this man here to, to ask me to do so. So who am I to debate the wisdom of Jack Shadow and to, uh, to say no? No, I want to keep him happy. So, and that's what I'm planning on doing. But in saying that, I have to still find my groove with this because, like I said, uh, live unedited now of course we ran into some audio issues to where you know i can lines i gotta get back in the niche of it okay with playing these these live episodes and, and the correct settings and stuff i had everything set up practiced and it still didn't go as smooth as i had liked um but all of that stuff I actually took it off of YouTube because I'm, I'm in the process today of editing the show into the final uh, version of what you will see on Stream TV when it is uh, airing on Stream TV next week. It will be playing next Saturday night. So, uh, but having said that, I have to get my groove in in being the host, and that's why I'm going to throw myself right back in to uh, that that situation next Friday. Did I really want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, not necessarily. But I will say this: in all this stuff that I've done, I never really, I never, I never set out wanting to do it necessarily. And I don't, I don't mean to sound, you know, that I don't want that to sound in a bad way. I never intended to be Jack Shadow. I never intended to be 
the 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 host of Chiller Chat. Never intended to, to you know. These things came because I didn't know what I, I wanted to see the shows happen, but I didn't know, quite frankly, how to make that happen unless I was doing it. You know, when something done, you got to do it yourself a lot of times. So um, I am trying to kind of, like I said, get my groove into the hosting uh, to be a mix between what we have here, the pre-show, which totally unscripted, just off off the cuff. Uh, shooting from the hip here, folks, and and throwing a movie in there, you know, in between. So that's where at least my uh, time as host of Chiller Night Theater, this temporary um, time as me as host, is going to be that. But I still have to, I have to get that good feeling, you know, I have to get into the groove of it. Um, because I know a lot of people miss Jack Shadow for now, and uh, and that's cool. I'm glad to see that. In fact, I got it. I got a. Uh, you'll see. You'll see the transition. Uh, the new opening. The new opening for Chilla Night Theater next week. When you do see it, it goes really quick. But if if uh, I'll show you a still frame of it, that's actually done very intentionally. Our eyes are lined up and everything. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. But that's uh, going from Jack to to showing uh, me here. But um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try this out because I want to see new programming, you know, uh, presented on Stream TV. And this is the only way it's gonna happen. If I don't do this, there's not gonna be probably any new shows this year. And I'm going to have to discontinue any new chiller chats, and uh, and this show here on Saturday nights is probably going to get, you know, pushed more toward on a Friday night. Um, now the way I could do that is to do a movie, you know, with me hosting the movie, and then maybe do a post show instead of a pre show. That's possible, um, but a lot of changes are are coming up this year and and they're they're positive changes you know but but some of these are going to uh, um, change the lineup here and the way that I do the show um, Wollston says appreciate everything you do been looking for something like this for a while well, thank you very much Wollston I very much appreciate that um, what I what I foresee the show, what I see happening here is you know is me taking over the host duties for for now. Uh, I'm trying to you know of course I'll never be Jack Shadow uh, <laughs> or or the characteristics of Jack Shadow, the quality I guess and it's different apples and oranges, but uh, because I. Jack wouldn't be able to sit here doing this show, so you know. Uh, but but I also wanted that 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 uh, that image of Chili Billy in a way, you know, that as far as dressing up in the tuxedo and not. I just simply don't have the time to 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 wear up in a costume and prepare dialogue, and and that. So what I wanted to do, I want Chiller Night Theater at least for this year. Uh, or at least a good part of this year will be kind of like a mix of the pre-show and a watch party. All right, so that's the way I'm going to go with. It. I'll have I'll have a few little tidbits of knowledge, like I did last night with the screaming skull, and, and and mention some things about the actors. But pretty much, it's going to be this. Um, it's going to have to be that way because there's no way I will be able to keep up with it and these other. Uh, big projects that I'm I'm uh, jumping into um, Glam says hope Tom and Bonehead can make it tonight yeah I hope so <laughs> uh, Terrence says Brian just finished watching first season of Lex on YouTube only four 90 minute episodes weird German Canadian sci-fi show in English oh is that right I've, I've not heard of that Lex huh on YouTube interesting a German Canadian, German Canadian sci-fi show in English. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've not, I've not heard of that. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
Um, Laser Corn says, Lex, OMG, I love that show. Very cool. All right. That's neat. Uh, Paul says, are we international again? And what kind of car was that in the beginning of the movie? It was known as Aston Martin. They did not have gold wing doors. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't know. It, 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 it reminded me of an Aston Martin, you know, an early 60s or late 50s model. Of course, we're looking, you know, thinking of the, the James Bond, you know, which was started in 62. Um, I don't know. I've never seen those type of doors on one, though. So I couldn't tell you. International, well, well, we had Kevin, Kevin from Ireland on a little bit earlier. I don't know if he's still on here, but uh, Aston Maiton, Maiton, Laser Corn says. Hmm. Um, Aston Martin, okay. Corrected himself. Um, Brad says, as long as the horror movies are public domain, it should be fine. Mm hmm. Yeah, yep. Paul says, are you sure? Oh, was it an Aston Martin? Okay. Like I said, the, the body looked like, I'm no car expert. I don't know. <laughs> but to me, it looked, it, it, it did resemble one. Uh, that we're, you know, we were used to Sean Connery driving. Kevin says, maybe Jack Shadow is, is spending some time with v Tara Vincent, LOL. Perhaps they are. Yeah, you never know. Maybe he's, he's a... Uh, Across the ocean there, spending some time with Tara Vincent. <laughs> That's very possible. Glam says, guess they like to make an entrance, LOLs. Smart. Oh, Tom, yeah. Um, smart to keep folks waiting and wanting more. Yes, they'll do one of those uh, dramatic entrance. Um, let's see. Paul says, can you get Sleepy Hollow Theater back? Well, I could. It's my show, but or it was my show. I all I did was, uh, I just changed the name of it basically. And there's a few little other changes that I did, but back in two thousand May of two thousand fifteen, I changed the name from Sleepy Hollow Theater to Chiller Night Theater. And uh, let's see, Brad says I know YouTube can really be strict these days with public domain and copyrighted material content. I know, like Tom and uh, we were talking about, Tom, thanks for joining us. Uh, we were talking about um, the Satanic Rites of Dracula. That's one somebody had brought up. And I had it on there. We did that as an episode. And YouTube took it down. They took it down. You know, that's been in public domain for I don't know how long. I mean, since I've started, certainly since I've started doing these shows, and they took it down. They said it's not it's not public domain. Well, I, every list I've ever seen has been on public domain. However, if you go on YouTube and look for that movie, uh, there I, it's only in there like maybe one one or two. And it used to be it used to have tons of various copies on there, uh, including my own before it was taken down. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I gave I Bury the Living. They did that to that movie as well. Took it down and said, nope, not public domain. Well, how? How is that? I, I don't know. It's on every list. You know what? And that puts me in a, in a situation because as a host, uh, you, you certainly don't want to make a mistake. Uh, but um, what are you going to do? I do want to keep these going. The live shows. I want to. I want to do them as much as 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 everybody's having fun. If we're if we're enjoying ourselves and and having a good time, uh, the pre-recorded stuff is okay, but the live stuff I think is a little bit more fun. I just need to work on finding that that good balance of being an impromptu host host of of a a a, a horror host. So it's different than doing this or. You know, or interviewing a guest for Chiller Chat, uh, because of course Jack Shadow is—it's uh, a very dialogue-dependent uh, skits that he does, and and that's really—I I, just—I won't have time to do that. So I'm going to be relying a lot on on the interaction of the viewers during the movie. Like I said, imagine this—the pre-show mixed with the watch party. That's really how Chiller Night Theater is going to be this year in order for me to keep the show up and running for now. So we're going to make a, make a little change here. 
and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that for, for a while. Tom says, Lex was made in Nova Scotia. I knew some of the writers. Ah, oh, that's cool that uh, the series that you guys were mentioning. Made in Nova Scotia. It's pretty neat. Tom, the big-headed alien made it. Let's get this party started. I don't know what that's about. But <laughs> oh, the, the, I remember I remember a, a, an alien picture on Tom's uh, profile picture. You have that on, maybe you have that on uh, um, YouTube. I don't know. It just popped back into my memory. Glam says, not familiar with Lex, but that's the great thing about folks here. They always bring up new things and great recommendations. Missing our metal missions, though. That's right. We haven't had one for a couple weeks. All right. Somebody better get on it. Let's see. Uh, some salutations being exchanged here. Um, Terrence says, tomorrow I'll be watching the scary, scary of 61st. Hope it's good. The scary of 61st. I've never heard of that. But... Tomorrow you'll be watching that, and I hope you enjoy it. Wolsten says, anybody seen a newer movie, but maybe a f my favorite in a while? Luz? L-U-Z? I'm not sure. I, I, well, I've not seen that, uh, but I don't know if anybody else has. Anybody seen that? I, I'm not familiar with that. I've never heard of that. Um, Paul says, it's the best group therapy, and it's free. <laughs> <Right>. <coughs> That's almost how I felt when we were doing those Friday Night Frights, beginning of the of the pandemic. You know, um, you, you know, like I brought this up before, like it was announced already, and then, you know, oh my gosh, <laughs> what, you know, all that hit, and I was still I was still uh, doing these Friday Night Frights, and that was kind of therapeutic you know, for, for me to continue with those, because it would have been easy not to do it. But I wanted to see if I could do it on a weekly basis. But um, but also, with so much going on, I think people really enjoyed tuning in, just to get away for an hour and a half of the, of the week, you know. Um, let's see. Chad says, staying busy with our podcasts. Cool, very cool. Arthur says, thanks for trying to have live shows. You're the best. Ah, oh, thank you, Arthur. Arthur Mooney Sanchez. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Terrence says, Lutz, never heard of it. We'll check it out later. I'm in that same boat, Terrence. John says, this is a must share. This year marks the debut of the horror host Sammy Terry on WTTV Channel 4 in Indianapolis. I've heard of Sammy. Today, Sammy Terry celebrated his 60th anniversary, making him the longest running horror host in history. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Happy anniversary to Sammy Terry. And as he says, and many horrible nightmares. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing that information there, John. That's, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. 60th anniversary making him the longest running horror host in history that's very cool well appreciate you uh sharing that with the group here brad says how does that happen a horror movie that's been in the public domain for years no it's not copyrighted again makes no sense does it right it makes no sense to me but uh youtube does a lot of things these especially these days that that uh makes no sense there's no no good reasoning behind a lot of their decisions. Um, Terrence says, yes, Tom's avatar is the big-headed alien. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Because I, can, I just see the little red arrow in your name beside it, so I forgot about that. That's funny. Um, all right, so let's see. Next week, probably start the new, maybe, I know Screaming Skull, the movie we just, the episode that we just did last night, I really got to clean that up, and uh, not language-wise or <laughs> conduct-wise, but technical issue-wise, let me clarify that, I got to clean that up in the editing board and send that off to Stream TV, where uh, any of those issues, those technical glitches, will not be in the polished 
up version that will you'll be seeing next week on stream tv so if you haven't seen the the you know look at it like this because i get i get some of the you know like angry faces and viewers and stuff like that most most of the time that's not the case but every once in a while you get that but I could just as easily do this as a pre-taped show and and you wouldn't see any of the flaws you wouldn't see any of that it would all be fo uh, uh, polished and and sent to the uh, TV station but I'm okay with that I'm okay with you you seeing the uh, like you're sitting in a studio audience in a way and you're seeing everything you're seeing the you know you're seeing the good things you're seeing the bad things and as long as you guys are aware of that and okay with that then i'm sharing this experience with you real time and you know if you if you like that type of thing then then i encourage you to to join in on friday nights as i'm going to try to keep keep this up for a while so We'll see how it goes. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. We'll see how it goes. Um, uh, so bear with me and join in the fun. I just, like I say, have fun with it. Have fun with it. I do. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, but with the Jack Shadow stuff, as I as I mentioned earlier, uh, non-specifically mentioned earlier, because I didn't, I, I'll, I'll eventually tell you what's going on with with the, the, the projects and this stuff that's taking up uh, all my time and like I said it's all positive it's <laughs> it's very positive and it's all good for chiller night but um, but it's something that it's I don't have time and I won't have time like I said putting on the, the you know the, the the costume and layering up on that costume and and then preparing the the preparation for each episode that of Chiller Night Theater is actually there's so much to it. There's so much to it. Um, like I say, even with the, the prepared dialogue and and then the editing and stuff that goes into it before and after. Uh, so as I've mentioned, I I enjoy doing that. It, it's, I'm not saying that in a way that's uh, I'm, I'm not complaining in any way. I'm simply stating I don't. I, I simply won't have the time to do that like I have in the past, at least for now. And that's key too, is it's for now. So, uh, but I'm going to be very busy for, uh, for quite a, quite some time. You'll see Jack Shadow again. Um, it's not anytime soon. <laughs> Jules says, I watch because it's so much fun. I have insomnia and I watch all night. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I'm sorry that you have insomnia, but uh, I'm glad that you're, you're, you're watching the shows and enjoying them, obviously, if you're, if you're watching all night. So thank you. Uh, and we're glad to have you joining us. Terrence says, Arthur, almost didn't see you there. Welcome to the show. Yes, Arthur. Absolutely. Uh, now, it's 8.30. I like to put the schedule back up. I usually like to hit this schedule three times within each episode here. So tonight at 9 p.m., again, requested by Paul. He wanted to see Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. So Jack Shadow will be featuring that movie tonight at 9 p.m. in just half an hour on Stream TV. And you can see up in the upper upper corner there at, uh, at streammedia.tv if you're wondering how you can watch it you're new on here and wonder how in the world am I going to watch this stuff we'll go to streammedia.tv and you can watch live go to the top menu where you can uh, select watch live 11 p.m. chiller chat my guest is you know the EVPS the eerie voices paranormal society and that's part one of a two-part episode uh, 11 30 p.m. chiller night theater the movie is silent night bloody night 1.30 a.m. Chiller Chat. My guest is Michael Smith. He'll be talking about his movie House of the Vampire. 2 a.m. Chiller Night Theater. The movie is Bride of the Gorilla. So there you have it. There is our schedule for tonight. Looking like a, a pre-groovy lineup. Let's see. Terrence has been looking forward to Scream 5 coming out next week. Going to be epic. Is it coming out next week? Is it, I didn't know that. 
Interesting. Okay. Paul says Carpenter Rocks. The Carpenter Rocks. Oh, okay. John Carpenter. Okay. I was thinking Carpenter Rocks. What are those? A new tool of carpenters are using? Carpenter Rocks. The final Halloween next year called Halloween Ends. Hmm. Final Halloween for now. I don't know. Is this like a, a, a final kiss tour? You know, the group. <laughs> it's been final for about the last 20 years, but yeah, we'll see. You know, as long as they're making money. Also, Brian, you can you play John Carpenter The Fog? No, I wish I could. I love all things, most things. I mean, I can't think of anything I don't love of John Carpenter, but I wish I could. David says, are the witch and vampire ladies going to join you in the hosting duties? Uh, it'll be, it will be a little while before I can uh, probably have additional hosts. But that is my plan. That's a good question. Uh, that, as I remember, somebody had asked that I think last week too, um, whether we'll have or the witch or Elvon Knock on the show. Uh, I will try to make that happen. I will actually be, um, yeah, I'm going to try to make that happen. <laughs> so we'll see. I'd like to see that happen, um, and I'll be I'll be setting. Put, Constructing the set up in a in a in a new location here uh, shortly. Let's see. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Glam says, if you are into alien life forms and conspiracy theories, look no further than YouTube. Some really strange stuff goes on there, but you didn't hear that from me. Wink. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, conspiracy theories anymore are just a matter of time. Just a matter of like six months, and it's a conspiracy theory no more. Uh, so it seems. So let's see. Brad says, in my opinion, if a movie, especially like a horror or B movie or anything that is just laying dormant and collecting dust, you'd think that they would just let it go to the public domain. I don't know. I don't know what uh, <laughs> what determines that. I mean, I know, you know basically what does, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's frustrating. Paul says, did you see the fan film Jason, Jason Rising on YouTube? N no. No, I didn't. I haven't seen that. Now, that might be interesting. Uh, some of those independent filmmakers or fan films are are really really well done. There are some incredible fan films out, out available on, on YouTube. I don't know if this is one of them, but you know, <laughs> I know that there's some really good talent out there. Uh, you know, in my opinion, there's a lot of that stuff I'd rather watch than some of these uh, Hollywood feature films. And I, I'm, I say that without exaggeration. Some of these people are very very talented. Um, let's see, I'm going to scroll down here a bit because I'm really far behind in, uh, in some of these comments. So sorry if I'm missing anybody. Uh, Lisa Corn says, aliens and UFOs be darned. <laughs> what? Maybe I shouldn't have skipped over everything. Uh, Glenn says, miss seeing Ava. Yeah, me too. Um, uh, she'll be back on again. I mean, her character will will be back on and uh, I would only imagine now I say this because I can't speak on behalf of Samantha and her character Elba Nock only because I can't speak on behalf of her and her schedule uh, and that's the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to say yes this will happen or yes this will happen it's only you know right now at this point is uh, getting schedules worked out you know like making schedules work and uh I tried to get that to happen with the Halloween episode, and, you know, I couldn't make that happen for the Halloween episode. So, um, you would, you know, that's really, I would love to have seen Jack and, and Aura and Elle all together for that for that episode that we did in Halloween when we played the Brainiac. But um, it just wasn't in the cards for this year, or last year, I should say. Um, 
Tom, why do Terrence says, Tom, why do your people probe us so much? Tom, being referenced as a big headed alien. Uh, I want to put that in context. Uh, Tom says, we mistakenly thought cows were the dominant form of life on this planet, planet Terrence. Our bad. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, Adam says, so each year, does a new crop of movies become public domain? And if so, where do you find them? Well, uh, Adam, thanks for joining us. I, you know, what I do is I, I look on lists. You know, I go online, I look on lists, I Google it. Uh, and then I look on YouTube. Is it on YouTube? Because uh, if it's if it's on a list and it's on YouTube, pretty safe. Uh, if, if they're not lining up, then uh, it's a little little risky. Um, you know, uh, in 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 2021, I was just presenting new shows to stream TV direct. I wasn't putting anything on on YouTube. So this year going into this year uh, and that's going to be that way because now this year i'm going to i'm just going to try it now youtube viewers i will have you know this uh with with the dings i get on here this show might not be on youtube it affects my status with restream my my multi-streaming uh, uh program that i use and I could get bumped off. In fact, that did happen. I had a copyright thing, you know, uh, alleged. I was contesting it. And uh, it threw me off of YouTube, being able to stream on YouTube. So uh, that's why I, I got to be careful. Like last year in 2021, I didn't want to mess with it. I was like, I, I, this is interfering with me having Chiller Chat and the pre-show on YouTube. So... That's why I took the route that I did last year. And I didn't make as many episodes last year because it kind of was taking some of the fun out of it, to be quite honest. You know, I couldn't put them on YouTube. And so, um, but we're going to try it. We're, we're gearing up to do it again. Just giving you a little bit of a forewarning there. If you don't see me on YouTube one of these nights, <laughs> I do what I can, folks. Um, Jill says, Tom Pays, I feel like we need more than our bad, like maybe a steak dinner. What, with the cows? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I can give you, Tom said, I can give you coupons for Piggly Wiggly. Will that do? Well, that's very gracious. Arthur says, did you get to see the new Nightmare Alley? I thought it was good. No, no, I, I didn't see that one. Anybody on here see that one? Nightmare Alley? down here a little bit. Richard says, Jack Shadow is the best. Ah, I, I appreciate that. And I know Jack Shadow appreciates that. I can speak on his behalf. <laughs> so uh, thank you. I just hope that you guys, uh, like I said, uh, you know, you walk with me in these, 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 these first steps on this uh, transition. Transition. I had a neat transition picture here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So anyways, uh, but, you know, for me to, to kind of find that, that groove until Jack returns, um, <laughs> it won't be anytime. It, I'm just, it won't be anytime soon. I, I just can't do it. Um, that's why the shows at this point will be done this way. The other shows with Jack Shadow will still be up on YouTube and Jack will be, Jack will be, um, and we'll see Jack a little bit later on in the year, a lot later on in the year. But uh, let's see. Scroll down here. Scroll down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tom says, thought about moving from YouTube to Vimeo? I don't know what, I'm not familiar with Vimeo. I've heard of it, but I've not, like, I, that's all I know is a name and vaguely at that. So I don't know. It might be something to look for, you know, look into. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm open to different options. I am. It's just that, you know, YouTube, for some weird reason, over the last probably month and a half, my viewership has 
Now, believe me, I'm not saying this like I'm, I'm, I'm going viral by any means. You know, to me, a big number is like 200 people, you know. So share, 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 share this stuff as much as you can if, if you uh, want to see this stuff continue. Um, but <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, I'm open to options. There's, there's um, I don't know. I'll look into it, you know, because I got to... YouTube is very frustrating, you know, not just in, in my small little entertainment world. It's it's getting uh, it's getting there's some some um, principal issues I'm running into with what I see them doing uh, big time. Glam says you got that right, Terrence, but drive through doesn't count. And tell tell me I'm pretty. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I missed there, but. <laughs> All right, maybe, like I say, maybe I shouldn't have skipped over some of this stuff. Terrence is planning on watching Nightmare Alley. So many movies on my queue. Adam says, did you watch Fear Street on Netflix, Brian? I'm trying to think if I did. Uh, Ava, did we see that? I don't know if you're watching um, Fear Street. I don't know. That sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't recall if I saw that. Um... Doc says, have you considered the Monster Channel? I've heard of that. And and I might have even been on that at one time. It, or maybe maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, over the years I've, you know, people have asked, hey, can we put this on your channel? And I'm, yeah, if you want if you if you go through the effort of, you know, taking it from YouTube, you know, downloading it and putting it on your show, I don't have a problem with that. If it's on YouTube, I don't care if somebody else is putting it on their channel, as long as they're not monetizing it in some way. I mean, if that was the case, I'd like to make something too, you know. Uh, but, um, yeah, there's all these ideas, and and I guess time has always been an issue with me to begin with, and now it's really going to be, and I can't emphasize that enough. This is the only way I can keep the show, and this won't always be. The pre-show for this year... Um, you know, the Saturday night thing is going to likely and soon transition over to a Friday night thing. And what I mean by that is, uh, again, if I'm to keep this going, there's a chance that everything will be on Friday night. And that means show a night theater, maybe a very, a couple minutes, you know, and then it'll transition into something like this, a post show from the, from the chill night theater. I don't know. Again, I'm I'm kind of shooting from the hip with this, just trying to stay uh, uh, afloat. I don't, I don't mean to say that in a struggling way. Oh, it's such a burden. I don't mean that at all. Um, I'm having fun with it. I hope you're having fun with it. But there will be some changes, uh, at least, at least, at least uh, temporarily. I, I can say, but there will be some, like no no more chiller chats. As far as uh, new shows, I can't. I just won't be able to do it. Terrence says YouTube alternatives: Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, Vimeo, Daily Motion. I've heard of some of those. Now I've never heard of Odyssey, but the others I, I have heard of that. Interesting. Ava says, "What was it?" Uh, Fear Street on Netflix. Fear Street. Did we see that one? Let's see, Glenn says, we used to have Piggly Wiggly down here long, long ago. I remember seeing those long, long ago down south. Is that what you mean? Aren't you from, uh, weren't you the viewer from Texas? Um, if I remember that right. Tom says, Monster Channel has been non-functional on all my Roku's ever since I downloaded the channel. Oh, really? Jill says, thank you, I will check them all out. Richard says, um, you were asking for a scary movie to stream next week. I thought of Carnival of Souls 1962 and his public domain, just FYI. I appreciate that, Richard. Richard, be happy. Uh, now, that one, we, we just played that a few weeks ago. Uh, what I'm trying to do, and it doesn't always have to stay this way, but if I've already done that episode as Jack Shadow, oh, well, I mean, if Jack Shadow's done it, uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I would like to put a, a new movie in, 
um, for you guys to watch. And so I'm looking for, for new ones that I haven't played before on Chiller Night Theater. I'd like to at least do that first. And I don't have a problem like bringing the movie back around uh, at a later time and, and doing it in this capacity where, 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 uh, where this guy is doing it. Uh, but if I've already done it with Jack Shadow, then I, I, I'm going to try to get, you know, other content on, on here. Uh, for viewers to watch because those episodes are you could go in and, and watch that stuff on YouTube right now so uh, I'm trying to get new new shows if I can but that is a good movie I love that movie especially that ending um, Doc says I look forward to seeing your show multiple shows a week is crazy yeah it got a little too much I was trying to <laughs> trying to build something and then something else came along and uh, I, something shiny <laughs> distracted me. Said, oh, I want that. So, um, like I said, everything's good. But I will have to discontinue. And I don't know if the permanent changes. I don't know that. I can't tell you that. Um, all I can say is um, we'll see. Don't you hate that answer? <laughs> I, hate, I, I hate saying it, but, you know. Glenn says, yeah, I'm the one from San Antonio, LOL. I thought so. I thought I remembered that. Um, Lee Sands says, Pluto. Oh, that's a that's a good channel. Are you talking about Pluto or, or the planet that the uh, big-headed Tom alien is from? Uh, sorry, Tom. <laughs> no, Pluto. Yeah, that's a, that's a good channel. Tom says, the pig is alive and well here in Bama. Oh, yeah, the Piggly Wiggly in Bama. That's that's where I saw it. Yeah, when I was when I was stationed at Maxwell Air Force Base. Yeah, I believe that's where I saw it. Uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Jeff says, "Do you have a Patreon account?" I'd be get, glad to kick in some money. Oh, thank you, Jeff. You know that that is something that that uh, viewers have uh, suggested to me. A while ago, I remember back in, I think it was back in 2019, where folks suggested that. It was back in like spring of 2019. It was a while ago. And I just, me, I was, tr you know, the idea sounded good. I thought, I'll get back to it. I'll get back to that. So I got back to it at one point. I was trying to set up an account. I couldn't get past a certain point. I reached out to another viewer. They were trying to help me out. And then as I was trying to follow up with that, like like actively follow up with it, not just, oh, I'm going to have to do that someday and put that in my journal. And as I was doing that, then the, the, the COVID stuff hit. And, and, at, and at that time, I didn't know where any of this was going. No, nobody did. Um, well, nobody. But, um, but uh, I... I didn't think at that time, you know, I, I didn't want to ask for, for, you know, financial support because I didn't know how, what everybody's situation was. And I didn't, I didn't think it would have been uh, a good time to do that. But now, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to re, re, uh, re-examine that possibility. That, that does sound like a neat idea. And I appreciate you saying that, Jeff. Uh, so that might be something that I do. Let's see. Lisa Ann says, nothing personal, but that guy looks like he should host 007 movies. Well, that guy, if that's what you're talking about, was, uh, <laughs> I'm not taking that as an insult. Um, but, uh, you, you know, what, I, what I got that from is the host that I grew up watching, which was, Ch uh, Bill Chili Billy Cardell. That's how he... He was always in a in a tuxedo, you know, and he he was not a a uh, cartoon character or a, or a horror, you know like the typical horror host with makeup or mask or in some cases both. Um, he was just that's how he was, and and seeing as how this is a, a an off offspring of Chiller Theater, and that, that's something I even you know talked to Chili Billy about that before uh, before you know, renaming the show Chiller Night Theater. Um, <clears throat> I figured, well, if I'm going to host the show, 
I'll, 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 I'll kind of uh, do it in a homage to Chili Billy, um, at least appearance-wise, as, as much as I can and do. And so I was kind of, that's kind of, it felt right to me to, to, take, that, uh, to take that look. And so that's the way I'm going with it for now. Um, but yeah, 007 movies, cool. <laughs> if I could, I would. Um, Brad says, are you planning to have the haunted house in Harrisville this year? Or are you trying to find a more permanent building location for the haunted house? Oh, that's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to say what will happen. Um, I guess time will only tell, uh, which, which direction we go with that. Um, let's see, Tom. Yeah, Tom says, yeah, we've been bugging him to create a Patreon for a few years now. Yes, you have, yeah. Yes. Oh, I know. You've been you've been on that. <laughs> you've mentioned that in the past. And it is a good idea. I like I said, I I I got on there, I was setting up my account, and uh and and I I came to a, like a, a roadblock there. Like it like I, I didn't understand. Like okay, what now? What am I supposed? To, what am I supposed to do now? I'm hitting what they're saying. You know, I'm I'm putting in the information that they're requesting, and and nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So uh, I couldn't get past a certain. Yeah, you know, I was hitting a, I was hitting a pretty good technical wall there where I really didn't know. Like okay, am I, if I hit this button, then what's going to happen? And uh, like I said, I, I I was trying to I was trying. One of the viewers at that time was trying to help me out and it just never it never went anywhere and then again i sat on it again i got frustrated i sat on it for a while and then and then as i was trying to re-examine that possibility COVID hit and i thought okay i'm gonna i'm gonna wait let's let some dust settle here and then uh look into it and I, it's probably a good time to look into it right now so lisa Ann says pizza time oh that sounds good Brad says, 10 minutes until Chillin' Night Theater. Lisa Ann says, good, it's not meant as an insult, but Jack is just more cool. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> that Jack, he gets all the, all the compliments. Uh, let's see, Tom says, a Patreon would at least offset some of the costs for the whole endeavor. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, now, if I did that, I might be, I might, you know, I have to I have to get the uh, the groove down to hosting and impromptu impromptu hosting of the show. Uh, I either get that down to where I'm I feel like that's something somebody would pay for, or or I'd have to wait till Jack returns as host um, because I, if someone's supporting me financially on here, I want to make sure they're getting. They're getting uh, as good of a quality show as I can give them. So it'll take a little while for me to kind of wean myself into being comfortable doing this, uh, the hosting duties of Chiller Night Theater for now. Um, but I agree wholeheartedly. Let's see. Going over some of these. Uh, Brad says, COVID pending, take your time, Brian. <laughs> yeah, uh, COVID, uh, T Tom says, ah, my family is at the exact, oh, they're discussing some uh, locations there. Uh, David says, weasels rip my flesh is in public domain. Weasels rip my flesh, that must be a movie. <laughs> what <laughs> is in public domain well maybe maybe that will have to be a movie that uh uh you know this guy uh you know uh, presents on chill night theater one of these one of these nights um we'll see we'll see uh it's 8 56 pretty quick pretty quick i'll be throwing up that schedule again and um glenn says i've got a double Chocolate donuts coming via Grubhub for tonight. Oh, oh, pizza and double chocolate donuts. Oh boy, that sounds good. Jewel says, "I'm not originally from here. It's unique here." LOL. Oh, I was missing some of that content from above 
your exchange there. Lee Sand says, ooh, that's a weird movie. <laughs> well, the, why the title seems perfectly uh, tame uh, let's see alright Brad says skipping over some of these just, uh, Brad says five minutes till chilling in theaters get your row er computers ready that's right that's right uh, Jules says Glenn Garcia tell us more about this magic you speak of <laughs> <laughs> Lee Sands says, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Classic weird. Yeah, is that public domain? If so, we could do that one too. Spur wide is my way. John says, you have been watching the Chiller Night pre-show with Brian Hogue. This is Krozak the Grand reminding you, don't leave your ghosts out in the cold. Bring them in. And let them know that they have a place to warm up. They're probably chilly. Yes. And watch Chiller Night Theater with you. Until next week, stay chilled and keep thrilled. Thank you, Krozak the Grand. Yeah, speaking of cold ghosts, have you been seeing uh, Chili La Ghostly? Uh, every once in a while, he does come out, does his little swoop, and goes back in the castle. Maybe he gets cold, chilly, and goes back in. You never know. Um, what's on the menu tonight? Glad you asked that because it's time for me to put that back up there in just a few minutes at streammedia.tv. Remember, just not, not on this channel, but you got to go to streammedia.tv uh, to watch Stream TV. Click on the, men, uh, the the little menu above there to watch it live. You'll see the selection. 9 p.m. Chiller Night Theater. The movie is Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things. 11 p.m. Chiller Chat. My guest is Eerie Voices Paranormal Society. Part 1 of a two-part episode. 11.30 p.m. Chiller Night Theater. The movie is Silent Night. Bloody night. 1.30 a.m. Chiller Chat. My guest is Michael Smith as he talks about his independent film, House of the Vampire. 2 a.m. Chiller Night Theater. The movie is Bride of the Gorilla. Um, Brian says, if, if the horror movie is public domain, Brian will play it. And I think we're... Uh, hey, really, seriously. This year, uh, you know... I'm going to try, if I can make this a weekly thing, that's what we'll do. Like what, like I say, picture it like, I know Jack Shadow was cool. You know, <laughs> I have first-hand knowledge. <laughs> Thank you for that. I do appreciate that because uh, a lot of work uh, always goes into Jack Shadow's presentation. So uh, thank you. I do mean that. But, um, you know, I would like to see this. It's going to have to be this way for now. Think of it as a mix of a pre, the pre-show, the way we do this, and a watch party. If you could kind of go with me on that, just to get new content out there. Keep the show afloat while I'm, I'm uh, preoccupied with uh, some projects I'm working on. And uh, we'll all be happy. <laughs> Let's see. Lazy Coin says, children shouldn't play with dead things. However, classic, total classic. Love that movie. Very cool. It is 8.59. Folks, thank you very much for uh, joining me tonight and each other. Have a good night. Have a good chiller night. We'll see you next week.